Hello everybody, welcome to this session. Uh, the objective of this session is to uh, find out how to create a transfer order uh, for an inbound delivery using LT0F. All right, um, we have two options. Now I'm going into the path logistics, then logistics execution, then inbound process, and then goes receipt for an inbound delivery. Now we, uh, have post code zipped one this is here you can see straight away we have either vl 06 ig this is collective processing or vl 32 n and secondly we have here inbound delivery if in case uh, if you would like to create uh inbound delivery then you would go for this uh, but right now the object is uh, we already have an inbound delivery now and we would like to go for a transfer order creation so that we can do a post code reset so to do a post code receipt, first we will see how to create it, create a transfer order to do a put away. Basically, a transfer order is nothing but I mean you know it is a preparation for the put away. And once you confirm the uh, transfer order, the material will go and uh, it will uh, confirm that which pin would it be going into. So now there are two options. One is LT0F. So we will be looking at LT0F. So the transaction code that I have I have to mention is LT0F. Okay. Um, so let me go into LT um, zero F. So you can see here it says create transfer order for inbound delivery initial screen. So I already have my warehouse number selected, and then I will be picking up my inbound delivery, and I just have to press enter. That's it. So you can see here it's like create here for delivery. Um, so let me do one thing. Let me just pick up the um, delivery ones let me open up the delivery ones because i wanted to show vl33n it's like 87 okay now here right now this is a and then goods movement data is you can see here it is not yet started it is not yet completed so it still says total goods movement status is not relevant now we have around uh, not yet processed partially processed and completely processed so here it will come to not yet processed the moment when we will be creating a transfer order so let's see how to create a transfer order first so for that we have already opened up now uh, we just have to go for for put away for wm transfer order required and this is your uh, warehouse number so now here if you look at abc same thing so we are into this not yet processed so we will be entering into the completely process once your tf or transfer order is already confirmed but, but i mean once before that one uh, the moment we create a transfer order here this status will change overall wm status this will come to here you can see not yet processed or completely processed so based on this automatically the overall put away status this will be dependent on the overall wm status so we will see how these status changes uh, so let's try creating a transfer order. So this is a new transfer order for this uh, inbound delivery. Now you can see here, I mean, it's for the same material, and uh, here stock placement is only for one piece. Now here you can see it is only for one piece, basically. So let's say I'm just going to do a put away foreground. You can see it's picked up a bin 01105 in storage type double triple zero one and the section is also double zero one so let's say enter and then i'm just saving it uh, before i save this let's go and see ls26 for the same material uh, because over there it will give us a little more clarity so um here under 902 already there is something like 100 so let's go and see where this 100 is for what this 100 is for basically okay so this is entirely i mean there's nothing like one piece so we would like to go and check for one piece right now so i'm just saving this so the idea is the moment i save this transfer order we should see some changes in ls26 So here the transfer order is confirmed it's 73 created uh, sorry it's it's not yet confirmed it's a just created so when if we have 73 transfer order created let's go and check 
what is the changes that we have in the delivery first so you can see here now we can see the transfer order open and now let's go back and check the status those moment data it's not yet started shipment so you can see here there is no change as such so it's all good well and good now in ls26 let's see if there is any changes you can see here there is one change here instead of 100 now it is 99 it is like earlier it was 100 minus now it is like one it is going to be added so here it's like one pick quantity you can see here from 902 there's going to be one picked up and this one is ready for put away in your 1000 you can see here uh, in the un in the uh, available stock it is going to be added for put away so let me double click on this you can see here this one five two triple zero one zero one zero eight this was uh, this is i think this is a purchase order number now you can see here it has picked up for one minus and one plus basically two cons will be there one negative and one positive so now the idea is if i'm going to confirm this transfer order if i'm going to confirm this transfer order this would be placed this from put away it will add it up here it will become 1.165 but i'm not going to confirm this right now because i just wanted to show uh, two different ways of how to create a transfer order for an inbound delivery so so far we have seen how to create an inbound delivery using lt0f now we will be looking at uh, some other options also which is available for creation of a transfer order for an inbound delivery Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.